Hey everyone, this is Kayla with Can You Sign My Yearbook. Today I have a book that matches with my ring here. One of my favorite colors, a dark green. It is uh, the Panorama 1906 Bing to New York. I think it's called Central High School, but I'm not totally sure because it doesn't actually say but I think that's what this one is. So Central High School in Binghamton, New York. I hope I said that correctly. It's really cool, so it's a tiny little thing. Look at this. Very small. So it's gonna be kind of a small, short video, I mean, today, so I just wanted to kind of show you this yearbook, and yeah, let's go ahead and get started. So I just wanna like point out first all the really cool detail on the cover. Super beautiful. And it is no longer attached to the spine. So if you see me kind of fumbling with it, that's why. And it looks like it belonged to this person here, class of 1906. Looks like I need a wider lens for this one. <laughs> All right, so here it is, the high school panorama. This is from Binghamton, New York. Again, I hope I said that okay. And this looks like it might be the original school. So if it's still there, I haven't had a chance to look at it. If it's still there, does it still look like that? Let us know in the comments. Also, please drop in the comments down below where you are joining from, because of course we love to say hi to all of our people all around the world. So please drop that in the comments below. And if you wanna say hi, I do respond. Sometimes it takes me a few days, but I respond as quickly as I can. I do get a lot of messages. All right, this is the Board of Educators. Editors, excuse me. <laughs> I read that quickly. Oh, so these are the children who edited, children I should say, young adults, who edited the yearbook. I'm glad this fits on my table because it almost doesn't. And the faculty, also you might have noticed that there are some, there is some writing on here. I guess whoever had it last did like genealogy or research on these um, folks and kind of like some of them found out what some of them, what happened to some of them. So you can see that on the side and we'll have a look at that too. I don't know how true it is. I haven't done this research. This is just how I got the book. All right, and this is the class of, this is the class of 1906, right here. Wow, look at that. All different people with different lives, intricate lives. And here you go, you can see, like he said, this one, this person died in 1971. This one died in 1967, 1967 as well. This one's a priest maybe. Um, I think on another page he had one was a living at, I can't even read what that says, but that would be interesting if that were true. It might've been true when they wrote this. So here is um, some more names. Here are some more names of the 06 class students, excuse me, the 06 students. And he also wrote like this one's a librarian, um, married somebody, blah, 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 ooh, dead. Yikes. I don't know if it's true. Again, I don't know if it's true. Yikes. So I'll just give you a few moments to read over these names and maybe see if any of this information is correct about them. It said he, this person was a dentist. China, maybe they went to China. I know I have a lot of genealogists who watch this. So that might be something of interest to you guys. This is class of 07, which is funny. I am also class of 07. Obviously not the same class. <laughs> 2007. I'll zoom in on the names too if you guys wanna have a look. Moving right along, history of the class of 06. 
So if you guys wanna pause and read, you are welcome to do so. I'll keep my fingers off of that area. Unorganized classes. Um, I don't know what that means. Knocking from the land of Knox. Okay, knockings from the land of Knox. I don't know what that means. I don't know what any of this is. Our freshman. All right. Class day officers, honor students, high honors. Hmm, high honors. All girls. That's funny. He said all girls. died in 1918, the flu. That would have been the Spanish flu. I'm pretty sure. I'm trying to remember off the top of my head, but I think the Spanish flu was 1918. Oh my gosh, that's horrible. That's not that much longer after this. All right, so this is the literary club. Wow, look at that. Look at those, those hair, that hair and, look at that hair and, those outfits, isn't that crazy? They lived their whole lives and now here we are looking at, looking at their yearbook. Isn't that so wild? Maybe one day someone will be looking at our yearbooks. The Friday Club, does anybody know what the Friday Club is? By the way, if you guys are following um, me on TikTok and you know that I had that June Bug yearbook with Florence in it, I don't know if you guys know this, but um, it was actually picked up by the news, the story of Florence and that yearbook. So I will link the article down below. It was picked up by the Daily Mail. So they did an article on that yearbook and Florence. So I thought that was kind of crazy. Just wanted to tell you guys in case you were invested in Florence's story because they did publish that. I also put it on my Instagram. And this is Congress School, Congress Club maybe. And also, while you're here, please be sure to like and subscribe. The only way we can grow is if we have subscriptions, likes, and comments, because that helps the algorithm, especially subscriptions, is important. This is the debate club. So I can keep bringing you guys content because I know the people who love this really love this content, and I really love doing it. So it would just help a lot if you guys could subscribe. It would mean a lot to me. Debate club. Panoramic parade of 196. Another panoramic parade. Lim Women's liberation movement came in 1970. I don't I don't know what this is about. I haven't read any of this, but you guys are welcome to. Marching to glory. Get my fingers out of the way so you can read it. And this is the girls glee club. There's a glee club in just about every book that I review which is kind of interesting because I didn't know that Glee Club went back that far. What were they singing, I wonder, you know? Here are the students. I'll zoom in on their names. Okay. Written by somebody in 1905, wow. Whoever had this before really did a lot of research on this yearbook. Class day poems, poems. I don't know why I say poems. Quotes. Let's see about the quotes. 
fixed was her look and stern her air. <laughs> Make no man your idol. Wow, look at this one, that is, oh, I think it's German. No wonder I can't understand it. <laughs> as headstrong as an allegory on the banks of the Nile. That's cool. Ah, yes, the track team, here we go. Very cool. Just a dirt field. And football, it looks like two guys have helmets. I'm actually surprised because I thought there was no helmets at all at this time. So the fact that anybody has helmets is kind of amazing. So these two boys have helmets. A little more about baseball and American football. Senior class presidents. Oh, so the year's so <laughs> 1880. I know we're thinking 1980, but 1880 all the way to 05. These are the names of the senior presidents. Is that not crazy? That's so crazy. William Stone, Olmstead, Ogden, Weeks, Underwood. Well, well, well. I haven't read any of this. All right, and this is the Board of Education. It looks like he knew a little something about him, so if you wanna read that. Latin teacher, when I was a, when I was a freshman. Whoa, was this person the one who owned this yearbook, the one that wrote in this yearbook? Would that not be the craziest thing in the world? That would be so wild. I wonder if the person who owned this yearbook is the one who did all this research. Wow. Because he said, he said right here that this guy was a Latin teacher when he was a freshman. What? Okay. All right, I like this picture. This is cool, look at that. And heading on to the ads, which are really cool. The the old old ads. I wonder what these checks mark check marks mean. Room rates one dollar and up. Wow, that's cool. For a hotel room, you can get one for a dollar. Very cool. Look at that. I think the check marks, maybe they mean that those are still around or something, I don't know. So that was an old bank. This is such a cool yearbook. Russell Spalding Company, the cleanest bakery in town. I thought it might've been like Spalding, you know. The Spalding we know. So this one says being to New York. And that is it for this yearbook. Wasn't that such a cool yearbook? It's such a little thing, but I know this is a really short video, but I wanna make sure I got a few up for you this, this week. Again, thank you so much. You guys are amazing. I can't believe how much this channel has grown in just a few short weeks. It's really insane um, in the best way possible. And I just wanna say thank you guys so much. And I cannot wait to see you next time. Thank you guys again and have a good weekend. Bye.